Hello to all my friends out there. And I'm going to be doing some videos Don't Ever Run Out of Food Again. Okay, I bought chicken. And it was 99 cents a pound, but I got it. So it must have been about three pounds, uh, three and a third pounds. So it was uh, about three dollars and 30 cents. But I got the 99 cent chicken marked down two dollars. So I bought three and a half pounds of chicken for a dollar 30. And I bought, so I bought 10 and a half pounds chicken when it was cheap. And I ran into this woman at McDonald's and she said buy chicken, buy uh, beans, and buy rice. My ears perked up and I said, yeah. And she goes, and you won't ever go hungry. And I think, yeah, uh, that that is really true because chicken is to be had um, cheap. So number one, buy chicken, any kind. This just happened to be a dry rub, already dry rub chicken. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some uh, bean with bacon soup. This is kind of old fashioned, but it's very easy to make and it's delicious. Okay, so what I did is um, I bought three, I think these were pounds, three pounds of, of uh, beans and one of the ones I bought was Great Northern Beans. Um, but in town here, there are places you can buy beans 50 cents a pound so since I'm gonna be buying uh, eating beans I'm gonna make sure uh, my beans are as cheap as I can get them so what I did was I went through the beans to make sure there's no rocks I washed the beans good and I drained them a couple times you know I don't want to be dealing with any dirt on my beans then I covered my beans with water and I boiled them and then I covered my beans for one hour then I rinse my beans again good, and then that brings us to this point. Okay, so for good bean with bacon soup, you have beans, and then I have, um, what I do is I buy um, bacon uh, 12 ounces for $2 at 99 cent only. And so I have about six ounces of bacon. It could be ham. It could be sausage, or it could be one tablespoon oil. Okay, then I have uh, one tablespoon um, dry onion. It could be fresh onion. And then I have a little uh, crushed red pepper. Uh, I might put a little Tabasco salt in here. This is the way I make them. And then I have water. And the trick to beans is don't be in a hurry. I want to put quite a bit of water in here because I want to cook my beans down. What I do is I just boil them. Basically, I boil them. Okay, then I have salt, pepper, and sugar. I'm using garlic salt. And then, you know, you can always put more on so you don't want to overdo it. Black pepper. And then, you know, for sugar, for a small batch, this is one third pound. I don't want these beans hanging around. I think about a, ta a teaspoon, two teaspoons. Uh, it's going to taste better if you get... And then I just put them on the stove and I start boiling them. If they need more um, water, I add it as I go along. So I had um, minced onion, crushed red pepper, garlic salt, black pepper, and sugar. Okay, so that this is the trick here. Some people are sneaky. They don't tell people about the sugar and no one can figure out why their beans taste better. So we have chicken and we can have beans. So you can see how this is gonna make a lot of food. Now, for rice, number three, rice. Okay, so what happened? Of course, Ruth was lucky and she got, I was doing better rice and one of the followers sent me this better rice and let me tell you, it is even much better than my rice. So one cup white rice, two cups chicken broth, 
one tablespoon butter, one half cup salsa, one teaspoon garlic powder, and one half teaspoon cumin. Okay, this is gonna make a lot of food. I buy this um, rice two pounds for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I'm using bouillon cubes, I think it's cheaper. Uh, I buy as big of a salsa as I can get cheap. Garlic powder, I bought this for 99 cents. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. And uh, cumin. And then I stockpile, um, I stockpile uh, margarine. So I have margarine, I will use margarine. Okay, so now what is this? This is limeade. I made this limeade last night, so it is freezing cold. Let me tell you, it's very, very delicious. So it's uh, four cups water, one half cup. Let me see if I can find it to show you. scurvy another thing is all uh, now um, fresh is good here's the here's the margarine I buy whichever ones on sale okay so here's what I had the reconstituted lime and you want to make sure uh, you get plenty of lemon plenty of lime it could be fresh that would be really good so one half cup sugar one half cup, it was lime, and four cups water. And so this is going to be very yummy. Adults could mix something with this. No, I don't want to corrupt anybody. And you know, um, say if you were to drink all of this in a day, the good thing is you'd be getting a half cup lime juice. And let me show you my beautiful work of art because I'm pretty sure it's going to sell. Um, I had another mishap. I had a, a picture. Uh, you guys may remember it. I think it was Peru. For the life of me, I can't find it. This is really nice. This is unnamed, so no telling where it is or what it is, but I really like it. So, uh, let me stir my beans and give you one more shot. Okay, now the trick to beans is you don't want to be in a hurry. So, you know, this is going to take a few hours, maybe two and a half hours. Okay, you guys, chicken, rice, and beans. Don't be running out of food. I'm going to be doing a few more of these, and God bless you all.